I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your tithe. I'm not saying you shouldn't give money to the church. I'm not saying you shouldn't bless your pastor. I'm not saying you shouldn't bless the wife of your pastor or the children of your pastor. But be wise. Be wise. If you have 10 million now, instead of you forming in the church so that they will call you a rich man, plan your life. Plan for your family. Invest or ask you if you have planned for your future. At one point in time, if you are too poor, you will leave the church, another person will come. Nobody will ask after you. Oh, you don't like what I'm saying this morning, but I don't want everybody to like what I'm saying. I just want to tell you the truth. I'm not saying you shouldn't pay your tithe. I'm not saying you shouldn't give money to the church. I'm not saying you shouldn't bless your pastor. I'm not saying you shouldn't bless the wife of your pastor. Don't believe the future will take care of itself. It's a foolish mentality. I repeat, if there's any money you have in this church now that you want to invest into this church, I'm not saying you should not follow the kingdom of God first, but plan for your life. Plan for your family. The money you're supposed to give to the church now, bring it together, go invest in property. If you buy a land now for 5 million, in the next 10 years, maybe you're going to sell it for 50 million.